What the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here. You may have noticed that I didn't say YouTube at the beginning of that. It's because I'm mad at YouTube. <laughs> they are cheating me something fierce right now by uh, flagging, wrongfully flagging videos. Um, but I'm not going to complain about that. Let's play a battle. Let's have some fun. I need to get some of this stuff off my head. It is frustrating because I love this channel and they're absolutely wrecking my... Uh, my income and my views and my schedule and everything else right now. It's pretty bad. So let's get things kicked off here. I'm going to play as the Dawi. I'm trying to think which Lord I want to take. We're going to be up against green skins. Um, let's think here. Let's think, let's think. Um, thinking warriors. Good cheap dwarf warriors here. Couple guys to break up a charge. Let's get some grumbling guard. And let's see our lord. Let's do rune lord. I'm gonna do double rune smith. It's just one of my favorite setups for the dwarves, honestly. Okay, um, let's see here, it's the map, it's a very flat map, we're going to need, let's get some warriors of Dragonfire Pass, a couple of units of Slayers, kind of want, um, let's get the Goblobber, that thing's worth its weight in gold usually, and we need some Skirmishers. Let's get a few uh, rangers with great, uh, yeah, just maybe rangers. No, let's get the quarrelers because we have the money. There we go. So thought process here is break the charge with the miners with blasting charges and use the quarrelers goblobber to cause damage. Hopefully we can make it all work out here. High tier infantry would hopefully get wrecked by my ruins. Runes? Not ruins. I don't know why I always get those two confused. Alright, Glacial Lake. Dwarves versus Greenskins. There's a lot of things I could come up against with the Greenskins here. We'll just see whether or not we've come prepared to deal with it. Since I have the Goblobber, I'm going to put quite some distance between myself and the enemy. Have that be my front line. Check out the range on the Goblobber. We want to be in range of the Greenskins right off the bat, but we don't want to be any closer than we need to be because I want plenty of time for the Goblobber to do damage and for me to see the entire Greenskin army. Okay, we're just inside a range there, so that should work. We're gonna want these miners. Like I said, these guys are to break up charges because the Greenskins pack a wallop of a charge. Though our Rune Lord and Rune Smith should also. I believe they can give you charge resistance and they can give you damage resistance. Uh, 40 meter radius, there's charge resistance. So, around the Rune Lord at least. Alright. Slayers. We're going to be a little bit weak to an Arachnorok. But otherwise, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. Our infantry is not great. We've got to use Wrath and Ruin to our advantage. And we need to keep our skirmishers alive and damage key units with the Goblobber. That's going to be the key to success here. And once I've blocked the charge, I may try and get... Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out here. We'll figure it out. I've got a couple of my good infantry units up front, too, to help. Dragonfire Pass and Grumbling Guard are pretty good. Let's see what we're up against. Okay, we're gonna immediately get rid of the hammer of Gork. 
Are there black orcs? Yes, there are as well. I'd like to hit the black orcs too. But I don't want to just let the hammer of Gork get away with hitting my infantry. Not worried about his missile cavalry. And I'm not particularly concerned with his uh, archers. Yes, yes. Get me a quick route. The Goblobber is incredibly good. So we got two black orcs. We're going to have to focus our runes. I don't know, three of them crap because the Crimson Killers. So that is going to be challenging to deal with. Just boys, though, in the center because he spent so much on that. Let's keep firing away. Yes, please take your time to walk over to me. Look at me more time to try and get rid of your hammer of Gork. Yes! Good hits. Let's get this thing off the battlefield. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Yes! Get off the battlefield. I want to get some hits on the Black Orcs. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and target the Crimson Killers. I'm a little less concerned with the Hammer of Gork at this point. Maybe should have just fired at the other stuff all along. Got some Squig Hoppers that popped up here. Oh wow, just straight up missed it. That's not good. <laughs> that is not good at all. We've got to break the charge of the Black Works. I'm less concerned with the charge of the cheaper units in the center. Ooh, that Hammer of Gork just got some nasty hits on our Rangers. That is really frustrating. Hammer of Gork's getting some really nice hits because of the angle I'm having to put myself in to fight against the skirmishers. But I'm going to keep focusing on the Crimson Killers. These guys, we, they've got to be annihilated. And then the other thing we're going to do is take my leadership core. We're going to move to this flank so that we can double Wrath and Ruin the Crimson Killers. We'll leave one over here. We've mowed down most of the mangy marauders, but wow, they've done some incredible damage in a hurry. Okay, focus on the Crimson Killers. We've gotten some good work done against him, but his Goblobber's also gotten some nice work done on me, unfortunately. Cobblobber's doing incredibly well, actually. Okay, we've already routed the Crimson Killers. This is good news. Okay, let's start working on the Rusty Errors and the other Archers. I'm actually going to come around here with some Slayers. Uh, he's almost out of ammo on his artillery, so I'm just going to retarget somewhere else. Let's go attack his shaman. Okay, we got his squig hoppers. Rusty airs are taking damage. I'm gonna bring my slayers around to put pressure on him. I don't care about his missile cavalry. At least I don't think I do. Let's actually ignore these skirmishers and use our slayers for rear charge work. 
so we can mop these guys up faster. We're in pretty good shape. Okay, we've now got some slayers that can pressure all of his archers over here because I don't need them for rear charges. Let's focus our missiles on the black orcs. There we go. Yeah, I kind of needed my opponent to go heavy on expensive infantry for this army to be successful, and that's what he did. And that's why the Crimson Killers are such a big risk against the Dwarves. They, they seem so tempting because they're so good and they can do so much damage, but they will be the target of artillery, they will be the target of Thunderers, Quarrelers, Rangers, Ruins, Runes, you name it. And you can see that they only got 11 kills. Uh, his Black Orcs were rendered mostly useless um, and uh, just weren't able to work out there. So, yeah, the, the skirmishers against the Dwarves, too, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, I think they're questionable because Dwarf skirmishers are so good that you're really probably not going to find yourself in a position to use your skirmishers effectively against the Dawi. And then the Dawi are well armored and typically shielded. So I find it better to just invest your money as the greenskins. Like, for instance, if he would have taken all the money of these archers and gotten a couple more rock lobbers, he could have put a pretty solid herd on me and uh, would have been in a pretty good pretty good spot because I wouldn't have had enough artillery to really force the, uh, the issue with him, and he could have caused a lot of damage to my units and then engaged me with his infantry and probably been more successful. So just to give you guys an idea what I'm talking about, like, so for instance, um, the dwarves usually... Uh, I mean, if you don't go all in, so for instance, if you pick the green skins and you're going to go up against the Dawi, and one of your strategies, for instance, is to bring artillery, bringing one goblin rock lobber, even the good one, isn't going to beat like a grudge thrower uh, or the, the gob lobber, especially the gob lobber. So you're better off to just do something like this instead of bringing the archers he did. Four rock lobbers, and I would have had some trouble on my hands because he could have done significant damage to my army. And it's not all that much more money than he had wrapped up in the archers. Yeah, they were goblin archers. It cost a little more. But for instance, just going with a little bit less black orc and um, maybe a little bit more just like... So honestly, um, orc biggins do pretty good uh, against a lot of Dawa units just because of their high uh, damage. So they're, they're not a... I mean, they're a pretty cost-effective unit, in my opinion. Let's go down to large funds so that you guys can see what something like this would look like. And then in terms of a lord... I don't, I don't even remember what Lord he brought, to be honest. The Lord wasn't good enough to make a significant difference. Uh, there's a couple of options you can do for a Lord. Um, Azag can be good for Spirit Leeching, and even Fate Abuna is actually pretty good against Dwarves in some ways too, because it can kind of help wreck one of their units the same way that they might do with Runesmiths. Um, there's, there's lots of good options. I mean, Grimgore can be pretty tough uh, against Dawi. Um, the other thing that can be useful is... Uh, a flyer sometimes can be useful, but, you know, uh, I would say an orc shaman with a lord, and then you, you rotate on here we go, and you can get a scroll of power, I th think. Yeah, so get like a scroll of power. Then between your lord and two here we goes, you can keep your guys buffed up with attack for a very long time, and you can probably cut your way through the Dawi infantry fast enough to get the damage done. So I don't know, that, that would be a couple of my suggestions. Otherwise, I think the Greenskins in general have an advantage over the Dwarves. Most factions do. Um, you just have to know how to use it. And it's not to say that the Dwarves can't win. Um, it depends on how well you've chosen your Greenskin army, I think. So hopefully this was fun. And hey, uh, you all keep an eye out. It's going to be Warhammer 2 content very soon. Can't say when, but soon. So keep an eye on the channel. I'm excited for it. Assuming YouTube doesn't flag at all, which they already have. And I'm trying to get them to fix it. But... Yes, keep an eye out for that Warhammer 2 content. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. You all are awesome. Can't wait to see you on the next video.